A long time ago, a boy played Monsters of Etheria. He loved PvP. He would challenge people to fights over and over. There was ne never any strategy. There was never any ranking system back then. He was visibly bad. Regardless, he had fun. One day, his rival, who had moved past pre-buffing and the like, offered an ultimatum. Follow the rules of competitive or be left behind. It was harsh, but that kind of harshness was needed to make the best mobile player. In case you're un unaware, I am a mobile player. It means that I use either a phone or an iPad to play. I personally use an iPad. There are quite a few moves and strategies that simply don't work on mobile. That's one of the reasons why computer players are considered superior. There are workarounds, but they're difficult to pull off. In the past, there were only three actually good mobile players, at least from my knowledge. Drasp, Le Legend Clutcher, and myself. Drasp was the best, Legend was second best, I was third. I was fine with my position. I got better, but they got better as well. Everything changed when Legend left the competitive scene. I got bumped up as the second best despite not being better than where Legend was. I felt like I had to defend my title. Drasp was better than me, but he ended up leaving as well. He placed me as the best mobile player by proxy in my competitive groups. I understood my lack of skill. As a result, I trained hard. I found several battle partners over the years. I began winning against the superior PC players. I started to live up to my title. Then, Monsters of Etheria fell. Players dropped like flies as, as there were no more updates. I then retired, satisfied by my record of winning tournaments and elusives. A couple years later, Monsters of Etheria started getting more popular again. I wanted to get back into competitive. A lot of the old players were gone, but new ones arose. Although most were PC players, some new mobile players came into the spotlight. Giga was a newer player with a flair for competitive. Kai never really dropped the game and was picking up power. My rival, Dark especially, lost access to his computer. <laughs> In an effort to keep playing the game, he tried mobile and ended up doing extremely well on it. Now, don't get me wrong, new mobile players joining the scene wasn't uncommon. In the past, it happened a lot. We just didn't get too many good players, my level anyways. Dark started claiming that he was the best mobile player. I was rusty, but I had beaten him in the past when, when he was on PC. We decided to have a little competition to determine the superior. And thus began the 6v6. First match is Gurion versus Maltian. Now, um, interesting, it, interestingly enough, Gurion has a very unique kind of camera phase where, if you want to teleport with Gurion, you need to zoom out your camera all the way and uh, have like almost an overview in order to hit. See, like, like I'm right, I'm doing, like I'm doing right there. But if you want to dodge. You, if you want to dodge moves and stuff, you gotta get like a 45 degree, uh, somewhat zoomed in camera angle on Gurion, as I'm doing right now, or even like 60 degree. Um, Dark is going crazy with wing attack. That's the best um, dash in the game right there. Um, wing attack just has an ex insanely uh, fast recharge and is just able to get out of situations like that. I don't know how I missed this uh, Probably because I didn't have a dash, but um Yeah, it was just on the cusp of uh, reaching and I think that would have killed Gurren is pretty strong um, Luckily I don't get hit there 
Uh, I think he's going to dash, and he does, but he ends up dashing away anyways, because even if you can predict when an opponent is going to wing attack, you can't always um, hit your moves with it. So um, that's a difficulty. Next Ethereum is um, is uh, Detodonate. Now, uh, my thinking behind this was I can hit those Hydro Pumps and uh, really deal some damage as a result of that. Um, also, I, I don't know why. I usually run Rain Dance because I'm mobile, but I heard recently that, that there's a, apparently a technique to use Bubble Beam on mobile. And um, I wanted to try it out and stuff, give it a shot during this fight. But uh, multiple times during it, I just I just can't seem to nail the trick. It's basically, you gotta like tap the screen twice when using Bubble Beam and then direct the, the, the stream. I have no idea exactly how to do it. I just know that that's just the general way you go about it. Now, as you can see, I'm trying to hit these hydro pumps, but they're not connecting. And that's because um, Dark is memorizing uh, hydro pumps. Um, y y y I actually got a bubble beam there. Um, uh, he's memorizing hydro pumps uh, recharge time. So he knows when I have hydro pump and when I don't have hydro pump. So he'll play aggressive whenever I don't have it. But it'll play defensive whenever I do. Um, yeah, yeah, wing attack. He just j wing attacks over it. I got the correct prediction. It just didn't didn't land because multi is so small and wing attack is so fast not with it. But anyways, I can't hit any of my attacks due to the fact that that, uh, well, well, on the one hand, Maltian is small, it's agile, and the only move that does have a chance of hitting, Hydro Pump, um, Dark is being extra careful whenever I'm getting ready to use it, so he can't actually, um, so I can't actually land any hits. I did hit a water gun, but that was like, um, two minutes ago. Uh, I almost hit him there. I'm actually quite surprised. I remember being surprised that I didn't hit him there. Uh, getting Bubble Beam was honestly a mistake. It would have probably been, would have been better to uh, get um, a Rain Dance and just play a defensive uh, Detonate. But since uh, I can't, I can't seem to get these Bubble Beams off correctly. Um, two minutes on the clock here. Um, I don't, I don't exactly know what go, goes on there, but. Um, Somehow neither of us are hit. Uh, should mention right about the, um, the matchup between Detodonate and uh, Maltian. Detodonate, if it hits, um, if it hits move, if it hits a uh, Hydro Pump, it's gonna deal a, a, a ton of damage. So that's something you're gonna want to look out for. That's why I'm trying to hit these Hydro Pumps, but. But if Maltian hits a Psy Beam, it's basically screwed. That's something you definitely don't want to happen as a Detonate due to uh, Poison's uh, weakness to Psychic. And uh, Maltian's high energy. Um, uh, Detonate can't really sustain any Psy Beams. So, uh, we've got a kind of a back and forth thing going on here, where, where Dark will use all of his moves. Well, I don't have Hydro Pump, and, and, and he'll, uh, dash out of the way. Now, the reason why, uh, Dark knows that I'm gonna Hydro Pump here, but, uh, he's setting himself up to dodge out of the way if I decide to do it. By getting himself in the corner but like towards the wall so that you can choose um, like uh, around three options of either going left, right, or middle, or just heading straight at me. And right there on the clock, I didn't notice it at the time, but we're actually approaching the 22nd mark right here. And um, 
that means that the game will, um, the private match will end because, because there's a five minute timer. And typically whenever that's done in competitive, oh, I almost hit a water gun and a hydro pump there. Typically when that happens, the players just try just um, rematch each other after all their cooldowns have reset. And uh, we do that right here, um, same HP. Uh, unfortunately, that can change arenas, so that can influence the gameplay. It didn't happen this time, but yeah, that's definitely something to watch out for. Uh, right here, I'm actually thinking about landing a double edge. I don't know how what happened there. It's, it was quite laggy, but I miss. Um, it's playing extra offensive right here since I'm very low health. Um, at this point, he's kind of trapped me with that side beam because I can't go left and I can't go backwards because if I go backwards, he'll hit, you know, hidden power. So um, props to him. I was thinking a lot after that fight. I took a bit of a break and I realized that the reason I wasn't winning or wasn't landing any moves was because I was trying to counter Maltian and not Dark. Now, Maltian might have might have had issues with um, with Hydro Pump and stuff, which it does technically, but but Dark was expecting that, so that wouldn't work. Therefore, um, I needed something that would that would beat Dark, not Maltian. Or rather, actually, I needed to take in account both Dark's weaknesses and Maltian's weaknesses, and that's why I chose on Electris. Now, Electris was actually my first main, but um, I don't really use it anymore. In the past, I used Magnet Rise, but now I find uh, Volt Tackle discharged me much better. Um, almost hit a ditch discharge there. That was that would be um, I think that would kill if it hit. Oh yeah, and um, I finally pre predicted where Dark was that Dark was gonna jump over me with Wing Attack. He's been doing that a couple times. So I just used Astonish. If I had Discharge, um, I would have killed. I think later on I decided to hold on to ditch Discharge for that. But Dark knows that he can only do that whenever I don't have Discharge because of the fact that um, I can uh, I can try that. Um, yeah, Dark is just staying back on the ropes. I don't know how that Astonish doesn't hit. He's uh, going across the sides when dashing because I hit that Astonish earlier. I'm trying to box him in. And when I try to hit, try to predict him going to the sides, he goes through the middle. So he's doing a good job of adapting his gameplay. But, um, yeah, yeah, we're kind of just throwing out all of her moves right here because n neither of us really want to get hit. But, oh, that's laggy. Wing Attack really lags out the uh, recording. But, but um, we both want to land attacks, so spamming is off, oftentimes the best way to go about that. Um, I'm just going back and forth. Uh, he dashes past me. Try to land the Astonish, but that doesn't work. I try to go in for the Discharge, but that misses. Um, I predicted the Gust, and um, lo and behold, I actually got it. I predicted the Dash over me. But uh, I was a little too slow with my Astonish. Um, we're just going back and forth here. I have four monsters, by the way, and he has six. Um, oh, I almost hit the Discharge there. I got the right prediction, but I messed up the timing. Oh, he almost hits a Gust there. And right there, I, um, I hit the Discharge. It's the same move, but this time I got the timing correct. Now, you can see up on the top left that I don't have my chat on. And I check on the chat to see what he's doing, and I know for a fact that his Mary Poston is likely using a, sun a Sunny Day Solar Beam, which is a kind of a strange combo to work use on Mary Poston, but it actually sometimes works. So, uh, I knew to expect it there because of the fact that it suddenly just became uh, Sunny. Because uh, you gotta you gotta set the sunny day if you want to use a uh, solar beam. 
because otherwise you gotta go through like a like a like a, a stun before you can use it. And I ended up punishing him pretty badly earlier. I was talking about uh, move sets and stuff, but um, yeah. Now he obviously chose this because of the fact that Mary Poston would be able to weave out of the way and stuff, and um, because of Solar Beam. But um, it's like um, it's like whenever I was using Detonate against his. Uh, Maltian, because I was expecting, expect, because, because he was expecting Hydro Pump to be a, a major issue, I'm expecting Solar Beam to be a major issue, so I'm counting the, um, the time frame of, uh, I, I think I hit a discharge there, I'm not sure, I'm counting the time frame of the Solar Beam so that when, I know when to play defense whenever he has it, so right here, I think he has it, so, I'm keeping my distance. Um, yeah, he did right there. But um, I almost ran into the side beam. But right there, I I try to box him in. He does a good job of avoiding it, actually. I'm not taking too much damage, but I think he's taken like three or four hits. Um, ooh, if he if he predicted uh, if he um aimed a little better there. I think I think it would have hit Solar Beam because uh, I, I honestly wasn't expecting that. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just going back and forth. I'm not really sure why he uses Solar Beam there. Maybe because he expects me to dash. I don't know. But, um... I can tell now that he's kind of spamming the wing attack. That, that's something that can happen. That's why I'm trying to hit that Astonish right there. Oh, and he hits a solar beam. That's unfortunate. I, 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 was, I got caught, caught up so much in walling that I forgot that he had solar beam. I don't know how the Astonish doesn't hit. Uh, ooh, if I didn't get up there, it would have it, it would have been disastrous. And I hit, and I went into the right direction too because that solar beam was aimed towards the right. Um, side beam hits there, that, that does some decent damage. I think he's on one last hit, one last hit from almost any of my attacks would deal, would kill. Maybe, maybe not, um, maybe not Astonish. I then realized, hey, wait a second, I can hit Volt Tackle and kill him, so I do that. So, uh, in case you're wondering, the score is four to four. We each have four Ethereans. Uh, I'm using Electris, he's using Azun Rose. Azun Rose is a fire type and has access to grass type moves um now i know this is interesting i know for a fact that dark wouldn't run solar beam without uh sunny day to back it up so i know for a fa fact that um that he's not running a dash and he almost actually baits me there because um his skin is the same color as his uh fire punch so, so I thought that he was uh, completely flinched there, but um, he was actually holding a fire punch, and it would have killed me if I um, connected to the dash. And uh, he just hits a razor leaf there. It's it's actually harder to see razor leaf on desert than um, than a uh, forest for some reason. It, it's the hardest place to see because the, it's so bright. You can't see them until they're close up. I um. I'm getting up close here because I know he doesn't have a dash, and know that I can just dash out of the way if um, if the situation calls for it. Um, keeping close, um, and he surprises me here by by running directly towards me. I think if I had shift lock, you can actually uh, glitch the game into giving you shift lock. I think if I had a shift lock, I might have survived that. The score is two to four. Uh, Dark has four Ethereans, I have two, but I get the uh, choice of choosing my Ethereum, so I have a little bit of an advantage. I choose uh, Radatron. Now, Radatron is an odd choice, especially since it's weak to fire, but I don't think that he's going to run towards me a Radatron. Uh, somehow, I, I kind of um, misfire Hyper Beam there. I don't think he's going to rush me uh, with, um, with with a uh, fire punch because 
he doesn't have a dash. He needs that um, extra move slot for Sunny Day to fire his solar beams. And I choose Rattatron knowing that it, it resists um, grass type moves. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he goes in for a fire punch and I can just weave around the cactus. That sounds like some weird game. I do something cool here. I use solar beam and then hyper beam. Going for the double uh, huge beam move. That scores two to three. Uh, Dark chooses Floor Fluff. Now, a bit of a history. I hate Floor Fluff. Um, and Hyper Beam defeats Floor Fluff. But it's that kind of situation where it's the individual's weakness rather than the monster's. And I can have difficulties hitting Floor Fluff sometimes. Even with huge beam moves like Hyper Beam, because Floor Fluff is so tiny, sometimes the, the, the arena... Uh, makes it difficult to see. Uh, yeah, yeah. I don't have any moves right here, which is why Dark is uh, jumping at me. But right now, I don't know how to predict him. I'm struggling, especially since Floor Fluff is so tiny. I eventually figure out a way later on. Uh, I missed the Hyper Beam right there. That's a shame. Uh, now Rattatron's on low health. Uh, Dark actually flings himself off the wall by uh, wing attacking into it, and then uh, uh, launching himself, which is kind of crazy. Uh, I end up surprising Dark by copycatting his gust, rather than saving it for like an ice beam and stuff. Uh, I know, I know Floor Plus sitting in the corner there. Um, any player who, who plays with me a lot knows that uh, I struggle with uh, against uh, Flora Fluff, so it's one of my own individual weaknesses. But um, one of the only things that I that I can beat Flora Fluff with is uh, Maltian. I I should also mention that I chose Radtron earlier specifically to get Dark to use his main earlier so that I wouldn't have to deal with it in a one-to-one um, -one scenario in the finale. But he sees through this and sees through this and um, throws in Flora Fluff, which is honestly a safer option. His main is... Um, actually, I'll keep that secret until the end. But I know his main, and I know that it would honestly be... Um, a good idea to throw it out against this, but um, getting it out of the way would be easier for me. Um, he beats me there. I only have one Ethereum versus his three. Um, I use Maltin here because obviously it's the best option. It's the, one of the only things that I have that can beat Flora Fluff, so. Um, yeah. Yeah, things aren't looking too great right here, but um, hopefully I'll be able to clutch this up. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to... Now that I have something that, that's fast enough to actually dodge things, I'm just trying to figure out what his game is here. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out some kind of strategy or something that can uh, exploit that. Gust is good against Floor Fluff because it... Um, it's small, but it's spammable, meaning that Floor Fluff has to always be wary of it. And, um, because it's, more, it's uh, got, kind of got a big hitbox. Um, well, this is actually kind of funny. I thought uh, many of his attacks were missing, so I paused the game to um, check to see if I have this one glitch at, um, on. Because if I did, we would have to restart and stuff. Um, at this point, I don't know where he is, but apparently he didn't realize the match was paused or something. I don't know. Uh, luckily, I didn't get hit there. I think it's around this point where I figure out his floor fluff's weakness. Um, and... Maybe it's a little later, but I realize that he's only dashing along the sides. So, um... So I figured that if, if he was about to dash, I would, um... Try to beat him along the sides where he normally dashes. But, like, right around there, I realize... 
and he's only dashing outside of the arena, so like right there, so I knew uh, he was going to be there, uh, unfortunately I still got hit, but after I realized this, I can pretty much um, beat him now, which is, um, which is why you need to adapt your playstyle as you play. Now I know exactly why it chooses uh, Solar Rain, and that's because Solar Rain has access to Solar Beam, which he sees as a decent counter against Maltium. Does, this is also like the best environment for him because of the fact that Razor Leaf is really um, difficult to see in desert. Um, you need to really open your eyes in order to see it. Um, uh, I know that the situation right there was terrible, so I um, used world, worldly, worldly uh, antithesis, and that's the that's basically where you jump higher if you sometimes if you hit an enemy uh, with a move with Maltian. So uh, whenever you hit a move with Maltian, you always need to check after hitting that if you have worldly antithesis because that can pretty much change how you need to play. Because if you spam jump, that's terrible, and and it, and it allows the opponent to predict what you're going to do. Um, now I'm doing some prediction myself, and I'm realizing that any time I get close to him, he kind of dashes out of the way. So I'm going to store that for, la for later. But um, I actually lost a tournament recently because of the because of worldly antithesis. And right there, I saw that he was going to dash, so I. Uh, so I, so I uh, spammed all my attacks and was able to uh, beat him. But uh, because because I was falling from the air, it, it um, almost killed me. Now, the only thing I'll say here is that um, Stingferno... I, I, the only reason I uh, have a chance here is because I know Dark Set on Stingferno. And I know that he runs Double Dash. Now, um, this, this is somewhat unprofessional of me as a commentator... But I think I'm going to uh, leave the rest of this fight to you guys to, uh, to just enjoy. So um, have a nice day.
So there you have it. I ended up winning with one monster remaining. It was extremely close. And if you liked it, uh, please consider subscribing as um, I need it.